Hey there. Have you ever heard of a device called a pneumotachograph? It's pretty awesome. It's a medical tool that helps doctors keep track of how well your lungs are functioning by measuring how much air you're breathing in and out. Sometimes it's also referred to as a pneumotachometer or flow meter. This handy device works by measuring the rate of airflow into or out of your lungs as you breathe. It's really simple. A small, lightweight sensor is placed between your mouth and nose, and it records the flow of air passing through it. Pneumotachographs are often used by doctors to diagnose and monitor respiratory conditions such as asthma, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, and sleep apnea. They're also useful in research settings to study respiratory function and the impact of different treatments on breathing patterns. Overall, the pneumotachograph is an incredibly helpful tool that allows doctors to keep a close eye on your lung function and ensure you're breathing easy. Hey there! Let me tell you about how the pneumotachograph works. When you breathe in and out, the air flows through a sensor which creates a little pressure drop that we can detect and turn into an electrical signal. This signal is then analyzed to calculate the volume of air that has passed through the sensor, which helps us figure out your breathing rate and volume. To measure this accurately, we use a device called a differential pressure flow meter. It's a bit like a tube with lots of little veins inside. As you breathe into the tube, the veins slow the air down just a little bit. We can then measure the difference in pressure between the two ends of the veins. Using a formula called the Hagenpois wheel law, we can then work out exactly how much air you're breathing in and out. Overall, it's a really neat process that allows us to measure your breathing function in a precise and accurate way. The pneumotachograph helps us calculate different important breathing volumes that we can show you in two cool ways. A volume time curve for when you're still, and a flow volume curve for when you're breathing in and out more actively. These graphs can help us assess your lung function and ensure your breathing is strong and healthy.